name again? My name's Ed Ryan. I'm the uh, curator of this demonstration village, a post-disaster, temporary rapid deployment shelter, no infrastructure, no roads, no concrete trucks. Uh, there are about seven shelters here, all of which have been developed by people independently who came up with a great idea, put it together, and found a spot to put up our shelters. This is the Cirque House. Uh, it was developed as a better yurt for off-grid living. Uh, I was living in Steamboat Springs on Rabbit Ears Pass for many years when I started working on the project. After the Pakistani earthquake, I realized what I was really doing was rapid deployment, transitional shelter for very difficult areas where you didn't have roads, didn't have concrete trucks. So three people put it up in about a half a day. Uh, this has been put up on recycled concrete road base and it can handle Cat 5 hurricanes, California seismic compliance, um, and it's made for the other 90% that need things that we have and they don't. Nice. So let's, uh, let's walk over here a little bit so we can get a, a, a feel for the inside of it. Seems pretty spacious. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Got a lot of headroom. So three people can put this up in about half a day. Correct. Look at that. All of these panels are interchangeable. It can be a full greenhouse. Uh, it can be all solid walls for food storage. Why not? We can put it on inner tubes and float it down a river. You can shoot a shotgun at it. Uh, now, what's the cost of materials for this? On the inner, the cost is a little, on materials is a little different. There's a labor component for international relief using local labor because that's singularly the most important part in any post disaster Local labor, shelter. yeah. Local labor. Uh, we are targeting to distribute these for about $5,500. Wow. And if you look at what uh, the international community did with a half a billion dollars for $4,000, which is blue fabric, stick frame, corrugated roof, 160 degrees during the day, handle a 40 mile an hour wind before it destroys. Uh, We've got a, a better product, and now we're trying to tell the world. It's been eight, oh, yeah. eight years in R&D, and uh, we are now... Eight years. Eight years. Yeah. Wow. Uh, this looks like you could be living in as long as you need to. This unit doesn't outgas. Um, there's no formaldehyde. There's no mold. On our mobile medical structure with $5 of bleach and a little sprayer with water and bleach, you can spray the whole thing in five minutes and disinfect it for $5.